Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today's video is going to be my April plans video. Um, having new light, I am trying to make sure how I don't I still see shadowing. Um, it's really nice when it comes to taking pictures. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, so we're gonna be doing April my April plans video. Um, for those of you who are new, first of all, welcome. Um, and thank you for joining us. Love to have you join us permanently. So if you want to hit the subscribe button, I would love that. But this is my coloring journal. And we are now getting into April. So I'm going to show you my setup. So I, um, Bambi is my theme for April. Um, if you don't know, I have an ABC challenge. And the letter for April is B, so I thought I'd go with Bambi. Um, I don't know what my movie is for the month yet. We will do that on the 1st of April. That is, um, we will do on April Fool's Day. So here I did some butterflies and Bambi. This is just my calendar. As you see, I get to go to Vegas. Um, for these pages, I uh, print out, I'll show you ones that I have done. I'm very, very far behind. I think the last one I did was October, maybe? Yes. Um, so I put all my buddy colors. I print them out and put all my buddy colors in there. So that is what I do with these pages. And then I have my completed pages, which I am doing a little bit differently. Um, I will show you... Let me show you. Let me show you March here. So let's get on the very first page. So I'm writing the title of the book. And then underneath that um, would be like whether or not it's a buddy color or if it's goes with a hashtag, what I used. This square is for my hidden Mickey. This square is that I posted it on Instagram. Or my Facebook group that I have shared it on anyway so like so let's see let's so here 50 Easter spring fairy houses was a buddy color and then what I put as you can see here it was a buddy color I used it for a hashtag it went for my Facebook group um, because I was double doing it um, if you didn't know I would do it my old way and then when it comes to doing my completed pages I would rewrite it all yeah no it was a mess then we have buddy colors. Um, I have some a lot of project books, um, if you guys didn't know, that I have with people. Um, I am currently not accepting any more project books. This is plenty for me. Um, maybe once I finish some and you guys want to do one, um, yeah. And then for just regular buddy colors, then we have um, challenges and prompts my Facebook group fun, my notes, my video ideas, the books I've purchased for the month of April, and then my end of the month wrap up, which you see on the completed pages video. So that is my coloring journal all set up and ready to go for the month of April. Now what I'm gonna show you, I have a whole bunch of books next to me. First, I'm gonna show you some of my 10 books to complete eventually. Um, some of the pages that I have chosen that are not project books. So if you guys want to join me on those and want to buddy color one of those pages with me or more than please uh, message me on Instagram. Uh, then I'm going to show you the PDFs that I plan on doing. And um, then I have 10 untouched books that I would like to touch. And I went with a theme on that one, which I will tell you when we get there. So for... This one is 50 Farmer's Miniatures. Now, I do color a page in here with Erica each month, but we both have are at different levels in the book, so I don't know if I'd call it a project book. We just help each other out. Um, but because of my letter B, I thought this one for boots would be fun, which you shot, saw in that video, or this one for bull riding would be another one that's fun. Um, I don't know which one Eric and I are going to do and it's actually her turn to choose. So, but those are two I would like to do 
Um, and sometimes I could do, do more than one page in this book. So that's 50 Farmer's Miniatures um, by Camellia Angel Kova. Sorry, making lots of noise here. Um, the next one I wanted to show you just because I am like terrified. Terrified of this. So this is a group um, on Instagram. We have a group buddy color and um, it originally started with Amanda from Amanda Colors and I, and we are going from front to back. Um, are you guys ready? This is April's page. And all I have to say is, yikes. Yeah. Yikes. It might not be too bad. I won't be doing a background. And I think I'm going to be using a lot of gel pens. Anyway, can't wait for you guys to see what I end up doing. That's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Joanna Bassford. If you would like to join us in this group, it is not too late. It's never too late. Just let me know and I will add you to the group. You got to let me know. It's only on Instagram. Um, Benny Blue by Christine Karen. First of all, it starts with a B. And this book is almost complete. So um, this is the only actual Benny Blue page I have left. And then I have, um, I thought I'd do this one, Foxy Lady, because there's some freebies here in the back. I don't have too many. Oh, you know what? I might do this one instead. Um, only reason, I'll tell you now. I'm going to switch that. My theme for my 10 books that are not touched was fairies, fairy tales, fairies. So, by Benny Blue. And then I have Country Chibis by Alexandra Franzis. And I have a couple in here that I chose. Here we have a bowl. She's riding a bowl. Or here we have her boots. And I thought it was kind of springy with the flower. And here for butterflies, those are the three possibilities. Now I'm showing you these, does not mean I'll get to all of them. Uh, the next one I have is um, Disney Portraits. And I have finished this book except for these three lovely pages here in the back so I will be doing those three for the month of April and then this book will be complete um let's see next one um is Romantic Country the First Tale we are completing this book here on this channel and what I um want to do this month is I'm going to put a poll up here on um, YouTube on which page you guys would like to color. I picked three pages. Um, I will put the pick pages on there. The first one I thought was this fun um, garden page or flower shop. Man Manons, Manners? It's either Manons or Manners Flowers. Um, I picked the bear with the books. Or Blue Laundry. And we would be using, I think, um, I know it's Birds Blue Laundry is what the laundry place is called. I was thinking of doing a lot of blue type stuff, but we'll see. But yeah, so I will put that on, um, see, there is a major shadow. How do I get rid of the shadow? So it's going to be an experiment until I can figure this out. Sorry, friends and friends. Then we have floating mandalas. Um, and this book I use for two hashtags. One is Amanda Colors. It's her AC palette challenge. And um, uh, she is picks a color palette out of the color cubes each month. I will be doing this mandala for that one. And then for my hashtag, which is Meg's Disney Mandala Challenge, and we are doing Flower the Skunk. And I will be doing this one for that. 
And then my other two hashtags are my ABC, which is, uh, we are doing the letter B. So I am going to be coloring Belle here. And this is a group buddy color on Instagram. If you'd like, if you have this book, if you'd like to join us, let me know. I'd love to um, add you to the group. And then Frogs and Friends Color Along, which I co-host with Amanda from Amanda Colors. We are coloring this page which from Frogs and Friends too. Um, I have a video all about these hashtags. Um, if I remember, I will put a link down in the description box below. Now, before we get to the 10 books, um, untouched books, I have some uh, PDFs here that I want to, to color. And I thought I'd show them to you. So the first one um, is I am coloring the Tiny Shelves by Agato Pop every month. So this is April's. So I will be coloring these the shelves. But if you purchase these, these are on Etsy. I will put a link to the shop in the description box below. It comes with a couple other um, pages. And it comes with these. very cute so yes so I will be coloring this for sure so if you guys want to color with me please let me know again uh, message me on Instagram or you can message me on Facebook Facebook group and or email me um, I do have an email in my uh, if you don't have either one in the description box below this is Mariola Budek, and um, this is actually untouched. I have not ever colored one. This is the Gnome's Garden one. Um, I thought it was very spring-like. So we have um, this little guy. He's watering flowers. Um, we have a guy on a bike with a birthday cake. Here's a bumblebee one. That one would work for my letter. Here she's picking apples or cherries or something like that. Oh, this one, I, I love this one with this, the sleepy snail. This is way cute. This one has a bird and a butterfly and berries. Or this, this one would be another one of my choices. Okay, so my choices would be the book one or the sleepy one. So either the sleepy one or the book one would be my choices for this month. And then I also pulled, um, this is her other, these are more of her books. And um, she has these cuties in the front, um, cute friends, but the picture I picked was from cute friends too. Um, as you can see, there's cute, uh, but I really like either this one here or this one right here. So one of these two will be the ones that I would like to do. From there, um, I'm going, I have so many PDFs, so I'm going to be trying to add those in. So, um, then um, this is a brand new release. You will be seeing this in my haul video. Actually, before we get to that, let's do these two first. Um, so for my letter B, I also thought birds in the forest. I love this page, but there is a specific page that I am going to be doing. And I'm going to be following a color along. Where is it? Because every time I watch it, it makes me laugh. And I love how she did it really bright. Um, it is, I believe it's Lucy Just Adds Color or Lucy's, I will put it in the description box below her channel. But she has this page that she did a while back when this book first came out. And she just said that this is the daddy bird. And um, he, they, all the lady birds left him in charge of all the eggs. And he is not happy about it. That was her story. I just love it. Absolutely made me laugh. Um, and I've been wanting to color it. So um, I think I might use her color along for that one. And then um, again, so now our books that I have are untouched. So this is um, Teresa Goodridge, Garden Gnomes. This is her brand new release. I did not pick any specific page in here, 
Um, every page in here is very spring-like. So, and summery. Well, that one's pumpkin, so that could be fall. Oh, look at this one. It's got a button. This one, I love this. This one might be it right here. Oh, that one's really cute, too. It's got butterflies. Oh. Yeah. So here's that one. Um, fairy cuties. I have colored a page in here, but I'm sticking with fairy tales, and I have only have one page colored in here. So there is all kinds of pages in here to color. Um, this book is absolutely adorable. The illustrator is Fawn Slayer, and you can find it on... Um, Amazon um, and all the pages you know they're the artist's version of the pages are in the front but it's all fairies so I, I haven't picked one specifically yet but I'd like to color in that book um, beauties and beasties um, so this one is for my letter B obviously but like I said fairy tales um, I have not colored in here we, there's lots of fun pages in here. I love this one. We could do it for the rain for April, this hippopotamus. This guy, I don't know what makes me like it so much, but I think he's so cute. Oh, I should have done that one for March. That would have been perfect. Here's that, but I don't want to do a bat. I was wondering if there'd be like butterflies. Oh, they're not butterflies, they're bows. Well, bows works. Bow for the letter B. Or even a fairy one. These are interesting. Well here, she's got, no, it's the cat's tail. I was like, oh, she has wings. No, she doesn't. That is funny. She's like Winnie the Pooh. She loves the honey. Anyway, any page in there would work. Um, Alice in Wonderland, one of uh, my favorites. So this is by Julia Speary. I didn't pick a specific page, so any page in here. The only page I don't want to color, I'll tell you right now, is the one where her neck is really long. I don't like that look. I don't know where it is. Yes, when it's one of the ones where you know her only her neck this. I think that is creepy to me. Her, her neck gross. I love this page. I really would like to color this one. This one's really cute too. I don't remember a dog though in Alice in Wonderland. So that's Alice in Wonderland by Julia Speary, an eerie book that I have not touched. This one is the Around the World. No, I don't have this one. Oh, I don't have this one translated. It's the one with the dragon on the top. Um, it's got lots of fairies in it. There's some very cute pages in here that have fairies. Let's see. There was one. I love that. There's one I saw that I absolutely loved. Let me see if I can find it. This one. Uh, this one with the girl and the dragon underneath the apple tree. I think that is so cute. I'd like to color this page. So if you want to color this page with me, let me know. Um, Mythographics Fairy Wonderland by Fabiana Atanasio. Um, again, I have not picked a specific page. Yeah. So fun. I like this. I love that. I've seen some people do beautiful pages in this book. It kind of intimidates me. I am so sorry about the shadowing. We will fix that for my next video. Then we have... Um, 
Little Cuties special. And I want to do a Color in Heaven book every month um, because I have now a ton of them I have not touched. This one is by Daria Kekersoy, and she's got lots of fairies. I'm like, that's not one. I should have marked them. I did not mark them. I'm so sorry. But I just love her. Like, here's one. She's got wings. Here's one. I don't like that one. Here's one. It's kind of Christmassy, though. There's one. I don't really care for that one as much. This one. I want to do this one for sure. So if you want to color this page with me right here, let me know. Um, this is Princess Chibi Girls by uh, Lorenza May. Um, so all of the fairy tale basically are in here. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, I know people like here's Mulan. I would do this one as Snow White with the little bird. Evil Queen. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Um, you could do this one. Is Meridim? No, she's got the long hair. So, uh, Rapunzel. Um, with the roses, I would say Belle. Another Rapunzel. She's got the lanterns. Here's I would say Belle with the snow. The Queen of Hearts. There's a uh, Little Mermaid. I don't really know who I would say this was. This one I'd say Cinderella because you got the birds brushing her hair. So cute, Jasmine. I don't know if they're supposed they're off of Disney princesses, but that's what I would base them off of. So, so cute. I would say Belle because she has a book. But that's Princess Chibi Girls by Lorraine May. Um, I have Cute Fairy Tales by Selena Fennick. This has two sets in it. Let's see if I can find where this set starts. Nope. Anyway, there are lots of fairy tales in here. Princess and the Pea. Jack and the Beanstalk. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Snow White and Rose Red. 12 Dancing Princesses, East of the Sun, and New West of the Moon. That one I wouldn't want to do. Or that one. Little Red Riding Hood. Aladdin, Hansel and Gretel. Rapunzel, Beauty and the Beast, Snow White, Cinderella. Oh, here you got all of them. Puss in Boots, Little Mermaid. Uh, I don't know what we else some of these are. Princess and the Frog. This looks like Rumpelstiltskin. But yes. And then we have Fairy and Fantasies 5. This is Christine Karen's newest one. So any of these would work. So fun. I wanted, I have colored that. I had the PDF. Um, I'm a, I belong to her Patreon. That's really cute. And her, so I think some of these are from her Patreon. She gave to us. And yeah, that one I love too. But that is Christine Karen. Um, another one I haven't touched is Alice in Wonderland by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So we've got all kinds of Alice in Wonderland pages. I got cut off. My phone actually said I had no more free storage, so it shut the video off. Whoops. I think I fixed it. Um, we shall see. I had to turn my overhead light off, but I don't see any shadows now. I think this is better. So I, when I film, I need to remember to turn that off.
Anyway, so that was Alice in Wonderland by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And then the very last one that I have is the bear book, which is The Bear and the Lovely City. Um, I haven't touched this book and I need to. It is absolutely adorable. There's some really cute, I love this, really cute pages in here. I don't know if I want to do one that's very, very detailed. I don't know. I feel like they're all really, really detailed in this book. But I love this page. I'd like to do this page. The bookshelves with the bears. Um, look at that one. Oh, there was another page I really liked. Oh, where'd it go? I think they were like at school. Oh yeah, this one where they're painting. I think that's really cute. Or here, they're doing history or science or something. So cute. Anyway, so yeah, that is all I have for my April plans video. Um, you will be seeing, um, first I want to say I am so sorry there was not a video up for Monday. Um, yeah, uh, personal reasons. Um, but I am back, hopefully. Um, yes, so you should get this video Tuesday night. And then there should be one on um, Thursday and one on Friday. And then back to Monday, which is the first. And so that would be our Disney movie one. So, yes. So be looking forward to um, the haul video. And then um, I think I'm going to be doing... Um, it, it might be another beginners video. If not, it might be another Peter Pan video. We shall see. But yes. Yeah. So um, let me know in the comments below some of the things you guys are planning on coloring. I would love to see that. But um, yeah, I so enjoy making these videos and talking to all of you. And um, oh, if you're new and you made it through, thank you. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you all hit the thumbs up button that you liked it. And comment down below. I love getting comments. Again, like I said, I love making these videos and talking to all of you. And I look forward to talking to you all real soon.